Number 55, a cauterizer used to stop bleeding in surgery puts out 2 milliamps at 15 kilovolts. What is its power output? All right, so we got to solve for power, right? That's our unknown. They're giving us a voltage, but oh, shame on them. They're giving us a voltage in kilovolts, right? You know we need that in volts, so simply multiply that bad boy by 1,000. So it's going to come out to be 15,000 volts. Now we got the right units. Then what we're going to do is we're going to look at the current. And they gave us, oh no, they gave us milliamps. We got to convert that to amps, simply divide it by 1,000, or just tack on a times 10 to the minus 3 on it. And that'll now be in amps. So now we have the right units. And to figure out power, I now need to consider how these variables are related. Oh, nice. And I know it's PIV, right? Power is equal to the current multiplied by the voltage. So power will simply be equal to now 2.00 times 10 to the minus 3 multiplied by then the volts of 15,000. So take out that handy dandy calculator. 2 times 10 to the minus 3 multiplied by 15,000. 30. 30 watts. 30. 30 watts. All right. And I guess sig figs show, I guess, 30.0. But I think by now you know how I feel about sig figs. And there you go. All right, and then letter B, it says, all right, what is the resistance of this path? So now we have probably several ways we can find this, all right? The best way to probably do it um, would actually be to use, now I'm thinking about it, you can use your power formulas, all right, to figure out the resistances. Um, not the first one here that I, that I, because there's no resistance in it. However, though, it probably would be best if you used um, Ohm's Law. And the reason why is because uh, so if we notice here, Ohm's law says V over R, I current is equal to voltage divided by resistance. If I got to solve this for resistance, all we simply have to do is just cross multiply, right? Bring the R on up on across and bring the I on down. And we notice that here's the formula now for resistance. What I notice is that I'm given these values in the problem, right? The 15 kilo and the two milli. So I'm less likely to make an error, right? If I use my power, what happens if I screwed this up? Well, then if I use one of the power formulas to find then the resistance, I'm going to screw up the resistance. So less likely that I will make an error here in part B because I'm using the given information. What happens if you did the conversion incorrectly? Well, now you're screwed overall. Hopefully that doesn't happen. So all we're simply going to do is now plug this on in. And let's see what we get. So it's 15,000 divided now by 2 times 10 to the minus 3. Ooh, 7.5. 7.50 times 10 to the 3, 4, 5, 6. That's a lot of ohms, okay? And that resistance then produces heat energy, and that heat energy is what is able to cauterize and stop the bleeding. Thank you guys for tuning in. I appreciate it very much. Please remember to help us out and subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Be well.